In this video, we're gonna be talking money moves. But before we do, hey, what's good, YouTube? I'm Dewan. If you have not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. You will not be disappointed. So I got hit up by someone on LinkedIn. They hit me with a, a great question, and I felt like rather than just answer the question for them, I would answer the question here on YouTube and hopefully help a lot of people. Basically, what he's saying is, would you take a job where you're making a ton of money, but you're not doing nothing? Or would you take a job where you're learning a ton of information, but you're not getting paid anything? Let me put it to you this way. Somebody that's very close to me, I kind of look at him as a mentor. He told me that you will be paid in direct proportion to the value that you add. In other words, you will be paid in direct proportion to the work that you do. So if you're a neurosurgeon, you're going to make that bag. If you're a network architect, you will get that bag. So if you're in a company and you're providing a ton of value, they're going to have to pay you. If not, someone else will. That's that. Now let me give you my experience. A few years ago, back when my son was born, I took a job and I was making a decent amount of money. Now that job was a contract. You know, it was an okay contract. I wasn't doing... Um, too much, but at the time I was going to school um, Improving my skills getting certifications. So it worked perfectly and I was making a decent amount of money now The contract was about to end. I took another job The job was making let's say 30% less than I was making I Just had another child. It was a huge huge um, pay cut for my family but I knew the value that this job could add. And me going into the position, I was thinking, you know what? I'll go in here, work my butt off, and I'm going to make more money. Well, I went in there, I worked my butt off. I did end up making some more money, but I learned so much more information. To this day, that position was probably the best position I've ever had throughout my career, including my military experience. But... That position alone set me up for today and beyond. And I was making less money. While I was in that job, I ended up making back, you know, the 30% pay cut that I had took. I ended up gaining that back. You know, I leveraged some opportunities that I had with some other job offers. Ended up making more money. So that's how I got back to where I was. Now, I didn't make as much as I felt like I should be making, but somebody else came to me with that bag and said, hey, Dewan, we're going to pay you about 40% more than what you're making now. Boom. So granted, within a, a year and a half, two year time frame, I went from making 40% more than what I was originally making just because of that one opportunity. Now, let's say this. The position that I was in where I was learning the most, I left for more money. Hmm. Now, I went into that position thinking like, this is going to be the best opportunity. I'm going to be learning so much and I'm making a ton of money. Yeah. Day one, I knew the writing was on the wall. Not for me, but just for everybody, just because the work was not, was advertised. And, you know, time just went on and I realized like, this isn't for me. And I regret it leaving the position where I was learning the most because I'm no longer learning. But the type of person I am, I am going to dive in and continue learning. So regardless of what the job is teaching me, I'm learning on my own. So although I took this job that I wasn't learning very much, I was still working towards my CCMP. And so another opportunity came up and I am where I am today. But so to answer your question, the first thing I would do is sit back and see what's important. Do you and your family need the money now? If you need the money now, then the job with the most money may be the opportunity for you right now. If you need those benefits, you need that, that bag, that may be the opportunity for you because at the end of the day, you know your livelihood is what's important. But if you do take that position, know that you have to continue learning on your own. You can't just go in there and get comfortable. Never get comfortable. Continue learning. Now, if you can afford to take less money and learn more, I'm not telling you to go into the job with less money. But what I would say, think about 
is the job with the less money. If you were to take that position, go into it to learn as much as you can. Build your resume, build your experience, build your network on LinkedIn and in that company. Even if you take the other job, always build your network and, and put in work. Do more work than what you're paid for. That's how you're gonna make money. But in the job with less money, don't think about how much you could make because that could never happen. You know what I mean? So do not focus on, okay, I could go into this job and make this amount of money if I do A, B, and C. Well, you could get your CCNA, you could get your CCNP, you can get your um, CCIE or whatever. That company may never pay you. So you have to build your resume and be prepared to make another move in order to get paid your worth. Know your worth, but be able to prove it with experience and certifications, degrees, and knowledge that you can actually apply in the interview and on the job. So I can't make the decision for you on what to do. I can just give you my firsthand experience and say, hey, here's some things to think about. If you take the first job, you know, like if you need the money, go ahead and take it, but continue learning, continue building your skills in that company, you know, lay your mark. Even though they say you're not gonna be doing anything, find something to do, improve some processes, find a way to leave your mark in that position. Do that, build your network, build your resume, continue learning. Continue, if you're going to school, get your degree. If you're working on some certifications, get those certifications. And then if you take the job for less money, same thing, build your network, leave your mark in the company, build your resume, continue learning, continue getting your education, build that experience, and then be prepared to make another move if they don't give you what you're worth. How much time should you spend in that either position? That all depends on you. You have to define your value. No company can define their, your value for you. All you can do is define your own value, your own worth. Know that. And measure it with um, certifications and degrees and people that are aligned with you. And believe in yourself. Number one, believe in yourself. I hope this video helped you out. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I'm Dewan. Please subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Keep pushing, keep putting in that work, and as always, keep believing in yourself. Peace.